Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So I wanted to make this video to give you some motivation, okay? I talk to so many people who want to start a business or they just started a business or they've been in business, right? And things aren't necessarily going the way they'd expect. So I wanna make this video to give you guys my feedback and give you some tips before you talk yourself out of your business, okay? So if you haven't started your business, but you're questioning whether you should, I wanna make this video to motivate you and then even if you have started your business and you're questioning if you should keep going, right? I wanna give you some motivation and give you some tips, all right? So let's get started. All right, so first I'm going to start with all of you that may love decorating, right? You may have just a strong passion for decorating events or you may have already started your hobby, right? You may be decorating for family and friends and your church members, right? And you're starting to question if you should even start your business. You're starting to talk yourself out of your business before you even launch it. So let me give you some tips, okay? Based on my experience in you know, talking to so many of you guys. Number one, Please do not let the cost of starting your business discourage you from opening your business, right? This is the type of business where you have to have, like if you're gonna be decorating events, even if you're just doing balloons, you have to buy the balloons and the supplies and the materials to be able to create balloon decorations for your clients. And let's say that you wanna do whole event decorating where you may be doing balloons, you may be doing backdrops, you may be doing table decorations. If you wanna do all of that, then you're gonna to have to build up an inventory, right? Unless you just partner with a rental company in your area, right? And then you could just use their inventory. But a lot of times what I find is that people get so discouraged and they start to talk themselves out of their business because of the costs that are associated with it. Listen, at the end of the day, if God put it on your heart, right? He is going to bless you with what you need for the business. So do not let the money, the financial aspect of the business scare you, okay? That's the reason why it's so important for you to do financial planning so that you could figure out exactly how much money you're gonna need to start your business. And then you just plan for it, right? Come up with a realistic plan on how you're gonna get the money to start your business. Look, there are businesses that needed millions of dollars to start, right? And people found a way to start those businesses. So please do not let money get in the way. Don't let it overwhelm you to the point where you're just like, oh, where am I gonna get all that money? Or where am I gonna get the money you know, to, to build my inventory, right? Don't do that. Just make a plan and then trust me, God will bless you. And he will, like, he will give you the tools. He will bless you with the people, you know, who are going to be able to finance your inventory. So don't let money be a factor when it comes to talking yourself out of your business. Another tip that I have for you is not to wait on perfection before you start your business. There are so many of us who feel like our work has to be perfect. Our website has to be perfect. It has to be the perfect timing, right? Everything has to align perfectly before we start our business. 
And the reality of it is, guys, there is never, ever, ever going to be a perfect time for you to start your business. There's always something that's gonna come up financially. If you have kids, there's always gonna be something going on with your kids. You know, if you're married, right? You're always gonna have some sort of responsibility. So there's never going to be the right time. And you know what? The crazy thing is, when I started this business, it seemed like it was the complete wrong time. <laughs> When God put it in my heart that it was time for me to start this business, it seemed like the timing was completely off. But you know what? That's where your obedience and your faith comes in, right? Because you have to trust that if God gave you that idea and if God is pushing you in a direction where he's telling you now is the time, then you just have to walk on faith, right? And that's what I had to do. It literally seemed like all of the odds were against me. <laughs> it was like the most inopportune time for me to start my business. But guess what? My business will be four years old this year, right? Because I was obedient and I just walked on faith. So please don't wait for the perfect time you know, please don't wait for your decorations to be perfect. Please don't wait for your website to be perfect. You know, you're just going to get better and better and better as you go on with your business. The last tip that I will give to all of you guys trying to talk yourself out of your business before you have even launched it is to have confidence. I feel like that's the main thing. When people are talking themselves out of their business, that's the main thing is that they don't have the confidence in themselves to launch, right? So stop thinking that you're not good enough. That's one thing I feel like people always think. They question their work. They question if this is the business for me because they, they want to know, am I even going to succeed, right? People question if their business is going to fail. Like at the end of the day, Opening a business is a journey. It is a journey and you really never know what is going to happen. As you guys see, with every single one of my events, I learn something new. And that's how it goes, you know, when you're a business owner. Like you can invest, definitely you should invest in classes and, and you should do your research. And you should definitely try to do as much as you can in the beginning to prepare yourself for your business. But there's only but so much preparation that you can do, right? Like things are gonna come up, things are going to happen. So just look at it as it's an experience, it's a journey. Whether your business succeeds or fails, right? Because I had a business that failed before this one and I'm grateful for that business, even though it hurt me to my heart that that business failed, but I learned so much from that business. And if I hadn't had that business that failed, I don't think I would have been successful with this one, right? So everything is a learning opportunity. So don't, don't get hung up on is your business going to succeed or if it's gonna fail. Have faith, have confidence that whatever is going to happen is for your good, right? And it's going to be a learning experience. But I think another thing with this industry, so many people think that just because this industry is saturated, that they don't have a place in it, right? It's like there's so many event designers. There's so many event planners. There's so many people doing balloons, right? I get caught up in that sometimes too. Like I'm like every five seconds, you know, I see a new decorating business and I start to think to myself like, is, the, is this industry, you know, very saturated, too saturated? But you know what? At the end of the day, there are millions of doctors. There are millions of lawyers, right? And if your child were to come home and say, oh, I want to be a doctor, or I want to be a lawyer, that's what I'm going to school for, you're not going to tell them, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't do that. Because there's already so many doctors out there. D just don't do that. Pick something else. No. <laughs> you're not going to tell your child that. You're going to say, good, you're going to be a good doctor, right? Go ahead, study it. So that's the thing. Don't think that just because this industry 
is saturated that you don't have a place in it. You do have a place in it because guess what? There's no one else that's going to be you. And God gave every single person something special. So whatever he put inside of you is going to show and that is what he is going to use to draw clients to you, right? So don't think, you know, don't get caught up in the, you know, oh, it's overly saturated. At the end of the day, do you. Do what God put in your heart. Have confidence that the talents, the skills, the experience, everything that he has given you over the years is going to work in your favor and help your business to succeed. All right. So let me talk to the people who have already launched their business. And you may be at a point where you're thinking about giving up on your business. You may be like, you know what? Like, I'm good on all of this, right? So let me talk to you and give you some encouragement. This business takes time. Matter of fact, any business, I don't care what business you open, it takes time for you to find the right clients. It takes time for you to actually start making money right? It takes time for your business to grow, for your social media accounts to grow, for people to start to notice you, right? It takes time for you to perfect, right? Whatever decorations that you plan on offering, if it's balloon decorations, it took me years to perfect my balloon backdrops in a way where I now feel like, okay, like I can do this, right? Like, like this is my signature style, right? So I want to, I want to encourage you guys to have patience, right? Have patience. It takes time. It could take years for your business to really start to take off in the way that you want it to take off, right? So in those times, and I get it, it's hard. It is hard waiting. I, I feel like I'm the most impatient person in the world. <laughs> so I completely understand that waiting is hard. But I find for me that if I just focus on the task that God has given me right now, if I just focus on that task and focus on him, right? And it's like, I just have tunnel vision. It's like, let me just focus on what I'm doing right now, who he has put in my life right now, what he is giving me right now, right? I just want to do a good job with that. And then whenever God decides to promote me, right? And, and move my business along, I trust that he will do that, right? So I encourage you to have patience. It may not look the way, your business may not look the way you thought it was going to look, it may not have taken off, you know, the way that you thought it would have taken off. But trust me, trust me, if you have faith, right, God is going to take you places and take your business places and bring clients to you in a way that you would absolutely never expect. OK, so just please have patience. My second tip that I would give to all of those who have already launched their business and who may be getting discouraged is not to compare your business to anyone else's. This is, I feel like, the number one way to get discouraged and want to give up. Because you may be looking at someone else's business that appears to be taking off, you know, that appears to be growing, that appears to be attracting all the clients that you're looking to attract, right? And what you have to realize, number one, is that social media is not necessarily showing you the whole side, like the whole story, right? Sometimes social media, you know, can paint a very incomplete picture of someone's business, right? And then also, you know, everybody has a different path. Your journey is not someone else's journey, right? What God has for you is for you. What God has for someone else is for someone else, right? You don't ever have to be worried that someone else is going to come and steal your blessing, right? Your blessing is going to be right there waiting for you. Just as long as you are obedient, you will get it, right? So like for me, what I had to learn, especially when it came to Instagram, like when I was going through a period where I may have been discouraged. 
um, I had to stay off of Instagram <laughs> because it always seemed like I would go on Instagram and everybody else, like my business would be slow. I would go on Instagram and it seemed like everybody else was getting clients except for me. Like, I'm like, I don't understand. What am I doing wrong? Right. And I would start questioning my work. You know, I would start questioning my pricing. I would just start questioning everything. And one of the things that I had to realize was, again, you can't compare yourself to other people on Instagram that you don't even know. <laughs> really, you don't even know them. And two, a lot of people, what I had to realize, repost the same content. So it may look like someone's really, really busy, right, with clients and events, but they may be posting the same events over and over and over again, right? They may be posting older events. And because you haven't followed them for long enough, you don't even know that those are older events. You're thinking that those are the events that they're decorating right now, right? That may not be the case. So don't get hung up comparing yourself with another business. I had to learn that lesson very, I had to learn that lesson multiple times, but also very early in my business. Um, because all you do when you compare yourself is you start to get discouraged and you want to give up on your business because you think that, you know, why, why isn't this happening for me? And why is that happening for them? Nope. Like again, stay focused on the task that God has given you. Stay focused on where you're at and what you feel like you need to do to improve your business and don't compare. And my last tip for you is you really want to challenge yourself and be honest with yourself to think, have you exhausted all of your options? Before you give up on your business, you want to make sure that you've done everything that you could do to make it work, right? I don't want you to have regret. And think back and say, man, I really should have gave it more effort. You know, I really should have done this before I gave up, right? So I would challenge you to think about, are you marketing to the right client, right? Should you change your marketing strategy? For example, I tell people all the time, if you love draping, if you want clients to book you because you know how to swag your curtains, right? You know how to do all these beautiful draping styles, then you need to be marketing to brides and wedding planners because those are the people who are going to book you, right? There may be other clients that are interested in draping, but majority of your clients are going to book you for weddings and more formal events, right? You have to think about, are you marketing to the right client, right? The reason why you may be in a slow period is because you're just not tapping into the right clients. Another thing is, speaking of balloons, I feel like because balloons are so popular, when people start their businesses, they always think they have to do balloons. They always think that they have to do balloon decorations, balloon columns, balloon garlands. And guess what, guys? You don't. There are other decorations out there. You do not have to do balloons. If you like draping, again, do draping. You know, there's people do lighting. You know, there's people who do staging. There's people who do flooring. There's people who do um, luxury rentals, right? There's just so much decorations that you could do in the event industry. Please do not feel like you absolutely have to do one type of decoration because that's so popular. You don't have to do balloons. You can do flowers. There's so many, there's some people who come into this industry. And they start off with balloons and then they realize they have such a passion for flowers. So they end up switching over and being a florist. So my point is, is that you may, it may, your business may not be working for you because you still haven't found your passion yet, right? You may be offering a type of decoration that even though you get some enjoyment out of it, that may not be 
it for you, right? God may have something else in store for you. Another thing is I have I have seen people come in the industry where they start off doing the decorations, but then they realize, you know what? I would rather be an event planner, right? Or I would rather be an event coordinator, right? Or they realize, you know what? I don't want to be the person creating the decorations. I just want to do rentals. So I would encourage you and challenge you, right, to see if you've really found your passion. Look, I have been doing this now for almost four years. And I just realized at the end of last year, right, when my business was almost in its fourth year, that what I really, really love is designing events, right? At first, I thought it was balloons. You know, I thought that was my thing because everybody just loves my balloons. But really where my passion is, it's event design, right? And so now that I've come into that, I feel like I have a focus and I can definitely see the future of my business, right? So just give yourself time. And I, I just want you to challenge yourself and be honest with yourself, right? Be honest with yourself about the like where you're at in your business and, and see if you've exhausted, you know, all of your options before you give up. All right, guys. So I hope I did not ramble in this video. I hope you guys were able to follow me. I just get so passionate, you know, about people opening and owning their own business. I think it's such a blessing when you find that thing, right? That thing that you feel like God created you for. When you're able to follow your passions, you know, I just feel like it just gives you a joy that is just so much different than working a nine to five, right? So that's why I encourage everybody, you know, to find what it is, you know, that God has put in you, have confidence in that, and then have faith to walk on that path. Because trust me, God will provide, he will bless you, he will bring the right people into your life, right? There, there are things that happen, I tell people all the time, I don't spend any money on marketing, I don't spend any money on marketing. Everything that happens for my business, God makes it happen, right? I am hashtag sponsored by God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, right? So that's what I'm saying. When you are on that path with God, when you, when, when you are walking on faith, right? Like at the end of the day, trust me, guys, it will work itself out. I just don't want you to give up on your business or talk yourself out of your business, which so many people do before you even launch it. Okay. Now, if you need some extra encouragement, I have a Q&A community. You can feel free to join it. All right. I'm going to put the link in the description. We have live sessions. We encourage each other. You know, people send me pictures. I give them feedback. You know, everybody shares resources and questions, right? It's a community of people who are all, you know, trying to accomplish and trying to launch their business and trying to take their business to the next level. So if you need more encouragement, if you need me, <laughs> feel free to join my community, all right? If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.